Okay, this question, or one very much like this, was one someone had asked about from the homework. Uh, this problem on its surface, when you first encounter it, is just downright, how do I do it? A uh, common thing to try would be maybe to u be x plus 1, and unfortunately that still leaves you with a u minus the square root of u in the bottom, and you're really no further along in doing the problem than you were before. The key here is to recognize that you can allow u to be the square root of x plus 1. Normally not a very wise thing to do in a substitution because its derivative is so ugly. But follow through with this and see how it works. Um, if u is equal to the square root of x plus 1, then x would be u squared minus 1. Okay, no problem. Uh, but we need a du. And the reason we would usually not pick something like a square root of x plus 1 is because its derivative is so ugly. Although this time that's actually helpful. If you take the derivative of square root of x plus 1, you'll get 1 over 2 square roots of x plus 1. Now you may want to pause this for a moment or two and try to think about how that is going to be helpful to you. So let's consider now what this leaves us with. First we have a negative x. And now, when I look at that denominator, I have an x plus 1 minus the square root of x plus 1. That square root of x plus 1 is actually a common factor. So I can factor out a square root of x plus 1, and notice that's what I need as well as part of my derivative there. So I can rewrite the bottom when I factor out that square root of x plus 1 as 1 over the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 times the square root of x plus 1 times dx. Now you see we have exactly or almost what we need to carry the substitution through. Except I need to have a 2 there. And what I'm really doing is I've really multiplied by 1 half there, so on the outside I should multiply by 2. So now I carry the process through. I'm also going to factor out the negative with the x. Actually, before I do that, just so you can see clearly, I have my du, I have my u, minus 1 in the bottom there, and the other guy is going to be u squared minus 1. So I'm now going to factor out that negative. So I have a negative 2 outside. And then I'm going to have the integral of u squared minus 1, that's the x. In the bottom, that's just going to be u minus 1. And then that other stuff just turns into a du. Now I have u squared minus 1 over u minus 1. So I can divide that out. And I'm going to have negative 2 times the integral. Well, u squared minus 1 over u minus 1 is just going to be u plus 1. And now I have a very easy integral to do. So we carry that through. Negative 2 times the quantity. Derivative of any, any derivative of u would be u squared over 2. Any derivative of 1 would just be plus u. Don't forget the plus c. So that's where we're at now. And so now, just simplifying that a little bit. I'll have negative u squared minus 2u plus c. And then I can replace u with what it is, which is square root of x plus 1. And now I can simplify a little bit, square that, distribute the negative, and give me negative x minus 1, and then minus 2 square roots of that stuff, plus c. And then you can actually go one step further with this. That minus 1 is a constant, so... You could actually write this as negative x minus 2 square root of x plus 1. And then that c again and the 1, those are just a constant. Just to distinguish between the 1 before, I'll call that c1. And so there we have that result. And again, in case you were falling behind a little bit, there's our first page. And there's our result. 
So, kind of tough. Not something you'd normally expect. So the idea of making a careful substitution here to get things to work out.